Welcome to a very special bonus episode of the Darkest Timeline podcast. Just don't rock back and forth while you're doing it, Ken. We can't ever do a take without just like overlapping each Welcome other. Welcome just... to the <laughs> special bonus Darkest Timeline. I am rocking with joy because this is a, a, a very uh, special episode. If it, it, It's going to look different and sound different um, in its scope because this, this occurred right after uh, a community table read uh, to benefit COVID-19 relief efforts with Ho- Jose Andres, um, World Central Kitchen, and Frontline and- Food. Oh, right. and frontline right. food. Yeah. So this uh, is going. It's going to air on May 18th. The May actual 18th. community at, table read. Yeah, at 2 p.m. Uh, PST. And and I just want to thank everyone at Sony for allowing us to air that air this uh, podcast early. And I just want to thank everybody involved. And it um it truly was a magical moment. And it was um but but even more importantly, this was. Uh, again, to benefit COVID-19 relief efforts. And on behalf of the Darkest Timeline, we've also made a donation um, as well to the World Central Kitchen and um, and Frontline Food. So we're really honored to be a part of this on so many levels. So please donate to Jose Andres, World Central Kitchen and Frontline Foods uh, for COVID-19 relief efforts. And, These kitchens um, are making, they're making food, they're making meals for essential workers and uh, people in need. And obviously there are millions of people in need and doctors and nurses and uh, firefighters and police officers you name it and uh, they 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 can get these meals for free so uh, please donate and this uh, what you're about to see is a zoom call with the cast of community right after as Ken said right after we finished reading the script and uh, um, it was a bunch of uh, bunch of old friends came back together and uh, you're going to see everybody cry. It's great. Um, yeah, it, it was, uh, again, like Joel said, just really magical and, and really, and we would, we also just want to remind everybody to tune in to the community table read, um, and Q and a, which will be posted on the Sony pictures, television community, mm-hmm. YouTube page on Monday, May 18th at 2 PM Pacific standard time. So thank everybody at Sony um, thank you guys for your con- continued support of the podcast, and we, we hope you enjoy it. Yes, and if someone would donate a comb to Ken, that would be great. So here we go. Talk about that in another episode. All right, Ken, ask us some questions about the show, yeah, podcast. Oh, okay, yes. We'll just do, this is just like a bonus episode of uh, Darkest Timeline podcast with Joe McHale. We have, I, I don't see everybody in the gallery view. I see... Dan Harmon, I see Yvette Nicole Brown, I see Allison Bree. Uh, I, that's all I see right now. I see Danny Pudi. Um, I don't know if everybody else is still on. I don't know if I what? can I. What oh, is Jim is Rash? This? I hear Jim. What? I hear yeah, Jim. What is I hear happening? Jim. It's going great. Go to gallery <laughs> view. Every episode. I, I, I'm sorry. Let him finish. Oh, I'm sorry. Let I, I'm, finish. I didn't see. Okay, oh, I didn't see her. I'm sorry. I want to get because I didn't want to give any. I didn't want. I didn't want to get anyone out the, if if they want to leave, they can all leave. Okay, so it, it's uh, Ken Jong, Joe McHale, Jim Rash. <laughs> Dan Harmon, Donald Glover, Danny Pudi. Bye. Bye. Uh, oh, lost Jim. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jim left. Yeah. Jim. That is. Back. <laughs> and this is just a very special bonus. This episode. is a two-hour special. We're very. No, we just. About. It was just literally just to say hello to everybody and just to ask how it felt. Just doing the table read, how I felt talking, you know, <laughs> to Michael Snyder. This is more of a post Michael Snyder, you know, podcast. <laughs> I just want to know what you felt about Michael. <laughs> how did he my, do? Is think Michael right behind Donald right now? I think oh. Michael's right. Is that him? Oh, <laughs> classic Donald. Snyder. That's oh. Snyder right there. Yeah. After dark. Oh. I thought dark. it was a cave at first. <laughs> oh, Donald, it no. is a cave. Look like it's a cave. I thought it was a cave. It is a cave. It is a cave. Donald. No.
Yes. I bet. Why did you send that to him? That because you knew he was going to put that up. I don't have a penis. Your no, your boyfriend. Come oh, on. Oh, a white penis. Anyway. All right, all right. No more penises. That's right. not. <laughs> oh my God. That, is that Kermit's penis? No. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Let right, him do enough. it. No. Let that's him enough. do it. No. Oh my God. All right, you guys, that's enough. You know, I'm sorry. Donald. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right. Oh. I'm so traumatized. Oh man. Like oh, my God. Um, oh look, Dan's. I, we're playing. Oh, look there. at Dan. <laughs> Dan Hollywood oh, Squares. Wow. Yeah. Go meta. <laughs> <laughs> you do that so fast. Uh, that How, yeah, I know. You're so well, good at you do I'll that. I'll answer the question. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love that one. Yes. The, um, how Pedro uh, re responded to reading uh, some of those jokes for the first time yeah. was truly how I felt reading scripts of their show mm -hmm. for the first time constantly. It was like, it was just such a joy to experience that again and being like what we what we made was hilarious and so i'm just happy we got a chance to do it again mm -hmm. and i think doing this show it was at a time in our life where we were um it was just a very special time really special time and i remember like little things like offset as much as being on set like sitting in uh in the tank at paramount listening to heartbeat with donald in his car for the first mm -hmm. time and being like mm -hmm. oh shit you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> You're we're really good. Strategy. Right? We're gonna a strategy. And I never got to play you my mixtape, but it's fine. <laughs> what? You never, you never played it. And Could you imagine if Donald's music was just really crappy, but he was just as passionate? And <laughs> it all, it was, Listen to I, this. I, I wouldn't be here because I'd be like, you guys weren't my real friends. <laughs> you guys are like, that's really good, Donald. You guys gotta keep doing it. Uh, it's gonna go for a long time. <laughs> but yeah, that's, to me, all the memories of this comes back to all the time, like literally at like two in the morning, bits of like too many feet, of like doing just stupidest things. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but having the best time ever. So that's uh, been really nice to, to revisit those memories right now. Yeah. Yep. Donald, the yeah. director of the show. Hmm? Do you remember that character that you used to do? He almost? can't do it. He oh, yeah. It. Oh, I thought you were talking about Troy. I was like, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that remember successful. Troy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can look, I, like, I can IMDB I can, myself. I can, <laughs> I was like, uh, no, do you mean the homeless character who wanted to, um, to who wanted to blow Joe? Yeah, just over and over I was, again. I was definitely wondering how you're going to explain mm. that character. He just went right for it. <laughs> he just went right for that's, it. That's how he want. That's just all he wanted. I mean, I think we all know the best one was there's an alien coming that's cutting off penises yeah. and you have to hide your penis <laughs> in my mouth to make sure it's safe. <laughs> make sure it's safe. It. You also was like, one was like, bad news. The government has made dicks illegal. Quick. <laughs> hide yours in my mouth. <laughs> no, no, time. Was, no time to explain. And Alice and I were pretending, we were pretending to be married and there was always a dinner party happening. <laughs> <laughs> but, also, the, but also the joke was like, why do you keep inviting him? Like, why do you keep inviting him <laughs> these things? Which I was like, uh, that was great. No, that was, a, that was really fun. I just feel like the whole, yeah, it's very weird. Like I, said this on the, I said this on the variety thing, but I'm like, it, at the time I felt like no one was watching us, which I think allowed us to be yeah. ourselves. Like, you know, like it was, like we were very, um, it felt like I was just like in a room with my friends and we were just doing bits and playing around. Like even the script we read today, I was going through, I was like, oh, there's so much improv stuff that I saw in the episode being like, oh, everybody was improv little bits and stuff like that that weren't in the script. In the script, just, yeah. Because we were like joking around so much. So it's like, it's, it's interesting now to go back and, and see it, the show as something that like, yeah, like my kids can watch and I can watch and, and be mm -hmm. like, this is a, a, almost like a, a capsule yeah, of yeah. like a very like honest time. Like, I don't think, it, I don't know how any shows 
I mean, I haven't been on like a lot of shows like that, but like, I don't know any shows that felt like that. Yeah, I think the thing was also so special was that like everyone genuinely found each other funny. And yeah. I started the show with zero experience in comedy, was so intimidated by everything. And you I You never thought was... you were funny. No. Like I was like, I always thought you were really funny. I, was like, I, I did too. Know. I did too. You always be like, oh, like and I'm like, but your readings are so funny. Like yeah. it was like Literally, so, my kids are doing your pizza dance right now. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> Only you could have done that. Me, pizza, pizza, me so hungry. <laughs> yeah. I remember you did the Christmas tree dance, and Donald looked oh. at you like he couldn't believe what he had just seen. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. I was laughing. I felt, I was like, man, this is the funniest. I was like, maybe it's just late. Like this, <laughs> this is the funniest thing. Sometimes it was. Things, sometimes it was just at late. three a.m. Sometimes things were hysterical to us, and the crew was just sitting there. So oh yeah. Dying inside. <laughs> I have children. <laughs> yeah. That's what made me think when we were trying to get this. They probably won't show it, but us getting ready for this and reading oh that, God. I was like, oh, this is what it was like. Yeah. It was just a cacophony of us talking, and that poor, poor woman, Caddy, is just sitting there waiting. Like, yeah. Muted all of us. That was pretty Muted us. <laughs> as she should. <laughs> Muted everybody. <laughs> as she should. I know, but Pre I was like. AD wish they'd had that function. I know. Yeah. Tris yeah. Tristan could not do that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like, poor Tristan. Yeah. Oh. All right, Ken, what's another question? Well, it's really not a question, but it was like something <laughs> I was just thinking about where, you know, my kids are 12 and, and wow. so they grew up on the show. And, and so All we've been months. watching Community for the last two years. And I, it's just so cool to see my daughters just really love the writing of it. Zoe in particular, who does a lot of writing and does a lot of like animation and she does stuff on the, uh, just at, at school where she's encouraged to go into writing and, and she really just, just the wordplay and, and how lyrical the show is, you know, and it, 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 as a parent, it lets me like, especially the hot lava episode. That's my, my, my kid's favorite episode, just the wordplay that goes in and kind of like the, the floor argument between Jeff and Britta, like they just oh, know that. And, or, that joke, yeah. yeah, just the wordplay. It, it's my really 12 year old when that, kid's perspective. Scenes, my 12, when that scene's on, he's like, dad, get in here. You lose in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> Very supportive children. That's the Joel's child. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> he usually puts a motherfucker on it. Uh, I have a problem when I watch the show now because I burst out crying when I'm watching it sometimes. Really? Like, oh, uh, no, kid. And they're like, "Are you crying, Dad?" And I'm like, "It's fine. I just had a really good time way back when, and it's fine. It, I'm still alive." No. Uh, yeah. I, cool. No, it's hard. But it's like you watch the. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? Oh, I was going to say just on that note that I was making. Davey rewatched the season two paintball finale because he walked in the room and it was on, and I was like, "You have to stay." And when it. <laughs> Motion, Shirley and Britta driving the golf cart. He looked over at me and he was like, "Are you crying?" And I just was like, "We're the ones to work together." And then I had even forgotten that Pierce and spoiler alert is the one that actually saves the day. And I was like, oh. "And then Pierce came around to our side, but maybe he's out of the group." Anyway, mm -hmm. I've also been crying watching some episodes, Joel. Yeah, or choose Miguel. Glad you said to say Miguel. Miguel. Tonight. I, was, I was so happy seeing you guys in October. I blacked out. So I was happy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So to recap for you, Ken, I you had a great happy. time at the dinner. I had the best time. I didn't remember anything. Uh, that and was one of the. It was it insane. Was side of you that I. I hadn't blacked out since yeah. college. And we've talked about it on the podcast, how I just was, when you, I had drink, I, I have, uh, I was drinking Heineken's all day. And then when, by Whoa. the time we had dinner, by the time Are we had dinner. Are they paying you now? Yeah. Oh, sir. Well, I did I have a deal with them. So I don't, maybe not now anymore, but it was like, <laughs> so I was drinking. <laughs> and then, and then I was just, I was so, I've never, I've never like gotten so drunk out of just pure joy. I've just never. <laughs> And 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 by all accounts, 
people I've asked, they were just like, you're a happy drunk. And I'm like, glad. So I was, uh, you were. no, you, you were super happy. happy. Yeah, so as long as you I was really happy. wanted Donald to know that was he was great else, in really. Alien Brilliant. Yeah. I have yeah. no yeah. idea what that means. I have oh my no God. Idea. And <laughs> neither did anyone else. <laughs> we, we, uh, we all have, you know, unfortunately, we have those videos from that thing. I still have one on my phone that I watch every now and then. Oh, that, no. I, <laughs> I that, I, that I must send you at some point because it is, okay. it, I just pan and we see everybody's action. You are screaming yelling. Yeah. I mean, as if Danny and I think Donald are like miles away from you. Like we were already six <laughs> feet apart like by the right time you were talking. Ear. And all you can hear off screen is Joel going, hey, Ken, talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I keep being like trying to, cause I just got there. Like I got there late. Yes. So I'm like, so Danny, how's it going? Like, and you're just like, listen, man. <laughs> Listen, uh, alien, 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 Gillian, you have that, yeah, you have that video of Ken going through Alien, Brilliant. Oh and yeah, is, and then no, the, and then that movie, the and so no, put your time. Share them in the group chat. Share them in the group chat. I will. I'll send it to you. I need to send this one. There's a group chat. I'm not in this group chat. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in the group chat. Go. I no, I literally, I after this, I literally was going to be like, no, we should have a group chat. There's no group chat. <laughs> <laughs> we assumed you were too busy, Donald. So y'all didn't put me in this fucking group chat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This, this I mean, you know, a turn. <laughs> I mean, this. how dare <laughs> it, it is kind of funny that afterwards I was like, wow, we should, I'm going to start a group <laughs> chat. <laughs> You guys should, if I had started one, would you guys have told me there was one already? <laughs> no, we wouldn't. We wouldn't have said it. <laughs> no, no I, this I, is a great I, idea. I swear to God, I would be the first. Good ideas. I am such a, I am such a coward phony. I would never, I was like, oh my God, that's a great idea. You know what I meant to say? I meant to say, put it in a group chat. Yeah. Uh, you just heard, Donald, you just heard right. me. Put it in a group yeah. chat. Yeah, so, yeah. Speaking of, of actually like, I, I've gotten more sen sentimental too. Like I've like I've gotten like more, a, a lot more. Sen I think just having kids and just losing people just like makes you sentimental about like life in general. <laughs> I was like talking, I was talking to my partner, just about something, and then she's like, you know, everybody knows kind of about something. She's like, everybody knows that, and I and I instinctively not even thinking but everybody knows like, <laughs> <laughs> which is Era. a bit that we had and she goes what and i just tear up oh, <laughs> like, oh, like, if i was like oh it was a dream like it felt like it was like it was like oh it's a dream by oh. the way that's where oh, the hey, 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 hey. Oh. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> the breakdance episode of Chang going, everybody knows you need at least seven people for a breakdancing competition. No. Mm -hmm. Lock -a <laughs> and another Pop scene lock -a -thon. Pop and lock -a -thon. And another scene that I thought none of us could get through without laughing was Ken's ending to that scene being like, check out this exit move. <laughs> 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 Blanket apology. It can't blanket like dissolve apology. to an establishing shot in New York. It can't. Like, uh, <laughs> we're hostages. Maybe you just a, tap your finger and you do a thumbs up and kind of be like, got it. No, I mean it's it's so funny. <laughs> I mean it's so funny even when I when I did Dr. Ken for a couple of seasons uh, and then oh, I oh, 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 whoa, 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 I'm not geez. I'm not I'm not asking. Donald didn't bring up Atlanta. <laughs> no, I know Donald didn't bring up Atlanta. I know. Okay, I know. So but go can ahead, I, Ken. Go can ahead. I, can I bring up? <laughs> but it, but it is, it is the, you get to see it from a producer's perspective of just kind of, 
even actors that I'd worked with Dr. on Ken my show, produced? and then, <laughs> and then like produced? hurry, hurry on, get up, get on with it, stop, stop. I would start getting mad when people would improvise too much, and so I just thought of like how hypocritical I would be. Think of as how a, professional you would be, you know, as an actor. Yeah, now. and so just the last two years, at, at at the very least, having my own show, I got to appreciate what everyone behind the scenes had to put up with. It's kind of it must have been hard for you to say that. I appreciate. It. <laughs> 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 oh, I love that this Ken. has turned into a healing for everybody. <laughs> it's a very uh, healing. Great, and Dan, Dan was on this. Dan was on the season finale, and he saw me all stressed out. I think I had an argument with Sony about something, and Dan, Dan said, "Not as easy as it looks, huh?" And just like walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about when I wandered onto the Dr. Kent set? When oh, you yeah. Were yeah, you could talk about it. It's fine. It's fine. I, I was, was in the mood. I was in the bad mood. <laughs> shooting yeah. something else on the Sony lot, and Ken was yeah. shooting Dr. Ken. And I just promos. walked in. International and he promos. was like mid freak out. And I just stood by the monitors and started laughing because seeing Ken yell at yeah. people made me laugh. <laughs> in the mood. I was in the mood. And he was like, who is that? And then she was like, oh. <laughs> Fred is in the way. mood and I behave Gillian. badly and then seeing Gillian it was oh, actually so and I've never good. told you this I've never told you this just seeing you calm me down because of you and I think I think like the cast and 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 the and the and the producers were happy when you were there because when I would see you know when I would see a friend and then I would just then I actually I would just start just joking around start then I'd I'd either I'd either yell or giggle I think that's all I remember <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what, that's what I think producing is for me yelling and giggling let me see if I can get Allison back Netflix Netflix oh Netflix sorry Horse about girl. that nice. um, <laughs> but I just love what you're talking about uh, <laughs> let's talk about glow now segueing into you you are directing you directed episodes how does it feel for you to direct Allie how does that feel <laughs> oh. oh we lost her again I'm Netflix. trying to integrate you yeah no you don't have to try to integrate me I'm integrated just like what, when you were what the uh, hell are you talking about a fruit mug with Jack Black guys <laughs> yeah you know and he's got an essay portion and it's gonna be that luscious fanny. Oh. <laughs> I forgot and about that. And that's how I feel about directing for Netflix. Damn! Wow. Wow, they they got to be paying her so much. That's so great. <laughs> I mean, well, it's so just, it's the back end, Donald. You gotta, <laughs> it's that, it's that sweet, back end. sweet, sweet, Netflix sweet back end. Netflix is taking over by, by telling people, hey, in success, we will share these profits. <laughs> I got an envelope from Community. I got an envelope from Community with, um, with a form in it to um, send them back a check for the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> price, the price of the oh, envelope. <laughs> I said this on your podcast already, but our season one rap party was on our own set and the art department had to decorate their own rap party. Yes, yes. Everyone worse than the, they had to decorate it. They couldn't drink at the rap party <laughs> because then they'd be drinking while doing their job, which was to take down the rap party. Oh, no. That's not a joke. Oh my God. Like, That's like, horrible. Oh, That's oh, horrible. Hey, aren't you working electrical? Give me that champagne. What are you doing? You get out of here. <laughs> That's <around>. crazy. <laughs> get the shit out of here when we go home. Uh, right. It's and not Sony's right. like, Sony's like, perfect. We have our work around. Just make the <laughs> yeah. art department do it's everything. Like, they just made a party last week. <laughs> <laughs> we always had a party. Always. And we also had five dances. All five <laughs> dances. Five dances. <laughs> and we were talking about that, that, that t-shirt, which we should have made, all five dances or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, I, I just always go watching back the episodes. I'm just like, man, we got to do a lot of stuff that, like, children get to like the food fights and stuff like that oh, yeah i'm like oh yeah. when do you get to do this all the time like maybe you get yeah. to do one movie or one show when you get to yeah. do one of those things and you're yeah. like oh this is awesome and i was like no this is all, every episode i'm like oh yeah we did do that like we got yeah. to do that like it's crazy to me when, we, when i see stuff that we did on the show that if i if i asked for it from 
people that were drawing it, they would be like, no, you, mm-hmm. it's too much to draw. <laughs> but like, like, it's like, you, you get the guy right. from Breaking Bad comes around the corner with a fire extinguisher propelled tank <laughs> that he made out of desks and lockers. Yes. For lava episode. I'm like, wait, weren't we always being told we were out of money? That's what exactly. I was watching it. I was thinking the joke the entire time was I was, I was always hearing like, we don't have a lot of money. We don't have a yeah. lot of money. And then yeah. be like, well, we got to build this giant chicken spaceship. Like, I, kind of thing. <laughs> I truly think it was right. just ignorance. It was like, that was my biggest defense because I didn't come up through the ranks as like a, so, so it must have, they must have thought I was trolling them. Like, like, <laughs> but I genuinely would have like gaps in my logic where they would be like, well, we're, your show costs too much money. And then I would genuinely think okay but it's okay because mm-hmm. the next episode is set in a world beyond time so that, <laughs> <laughs> like the tables will be uninvented mm-hmm. so they'll be like like the oh my god the newspapers yeah. will be in a different language yeah that, that's cheaper Shirley right and island? Be like why are you fucking with us and like, Shirley, island, island. Shirley island. island was elaborate it was yeah insane yeah i think there was an uh, i think for, on the first paintball i remember pat keeling like looked at justin lynn and just like you have to shut it down now and <laughs> and justin went okay and then he waited for him to walk out and he's like let's keep going and <laughs> kept going that, that's the, I, that was the uh, first friend i ever made on that set but you guys notwithstanding but it was like that was like the the Russo brothers knew Justin from yep. like film school or something. And I was like, Oh great. Another fucking dude from the, the Russo's know or whatever. And then he was like, he pulled one of those and it was like, I, I was like, Oh, this guy is just like a kid. Like the rest of us, like mm-hmm. he's just trying to figure out how to sneak in, how to shots. sneak it in. Um, yeah. yeah. That was like, I, I want to work with this guy forever. I remember when what I brought, saying, like, Oh, go ahead. Saying, Gil? Oh, I was going to say, he directed the Halloween episode, the first season too. And mm-hmm. um, they came to get Yvette and I, it was like 4 a.m. maybe yeah. to come in and dance at the end of the episode. Oh, God. And I had never experienced until this show that if you stay up for too long, your contacts kind of fuse to your, <laughs> eyes, your eyes and everything goes blurry. And I was like, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. And I remember we were, like you led me to the set. I mean, dressed as a squirrel, going back to things yes. that children do. Yes. I'm dressed as That's a squirrel. It. I can't see. Yeah. And then they just shove solo cups in our hands and go, dance. And we just went. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a fun fact, Gillian. I had my contacts in too, and I couldn't see either. So okay, we literally great. was the blind leading the blind. I just we did remember it. Joel having like some magical, because Joel always had some weird cures. So he had this like magical blue solution oh, yes. that he would put yes. into his eyes. He's like, take some of yeah. this. And I'm like, I'm not putting that. Sh- I don't know what that is in my eyes. I but eventually, then I put it in my eyes and it was fantastic. I don't know it was I'm great. Doing. And I used it so much that I developed an allergy to it. <laughs> and oh, wow. we had to have a doctor come to set because my eyes were permanently red unless Sorry, I Ken. used no it. Offense, Ken. <laughs> and a the real guy doctor. Was, I remember the guy, the doctor was like, how often are you using these blue drops? And I was like, uh, before every, like a couple Line of takes. Of <laughs> and uh they're dangerous like, right i remember he was just like you have to stop doing that and i was like it's very good advice and i will take that advice and i but i remember i they had to my eyes were red for days until it wow was, well now we yeah, have lumify which is a brand new product and i'm not even kidding it's just is actually safe, used to treat I, glaucoma is that, is that lumify, is, lumify is very safe it's used for glaucoma and at a low weird. dose it whitens all the eyes doesn't have the same kind of chemical they that's advising you yeah. no they're not what's going know, on no but Man, Lum- I, I just really like me. Lumify. That Honda episode. no i just Ken, like lumify Ken, you're what? telling me there's a product out there <laughs> <laughs> i have red eyes with a simple drop or two yeah. i'm <laughs> safely making them whiter exactly it's, it's owned it's by herbal life <laughs> herbal life Making Lumify used to treat glaucoma, which is high blood pressure in the eyes. So if you overdose, your blood pressure's better. That's great. Let me grab my LaCroix and take a... <laughs> well, There's this is a quench. podcast, so it wouldn't be LaCroix. It would be something that has to do with um, it, going yeah. bald or... Like, oh, yeah. Oh, well, um, energy oh. drink. Are you thing. telling me there's an alarm system that can make my penis <laughs> get hard? <laughs> yes. 
and, and mail me a box of underwear? So that- <laughs> <laughs> Every month? Well, Every I play month. Best Fiends. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, speaking of, uh, and I don't know, but Pat, Corporate Pat Conley, I know, I know, no, perfect segue, <laughs> but, but uh, Pat was my line producer as well. And I would ask him because I'd heard that community. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to. Name <laughs> oh. not, Were you yelling at him the day oh. that Julie? <laughs> <laughs> was I yelling at him the day we got canceled? No, the, um, no, but I, I had, um, cause I'd asked Pat, like I heard the budget because I heard you guys are all, the show was always like budget neutral or even under budget on community. Really? So, wow. and, but I, and, and Pat, Pat just straight up said, I said, how did that happen? Pat said, said simple. I would just lie to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm oh, not even kidding. Over, I'm not even kidding. Budget? Pat would just say, no, I would just straight up lie to Dan. <laughs> and just say, I got nothing. <laughs> so over Dan. No, <laughs> <He would> just, <laughs> wow. Wow. Mark. Remember when there was a possum living in our prop room? Yes. Yes. No. I was like, I was didn't like, know that. That was, was the that first the time that I was like, oh, we're poor. <laughs> 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 oh, we're, we're really oh. poor. There's a possum in this. In, yeah. There's a possum in a the prop. prop room. There's no possum episode coming up because I know <laughs> the writers are making this shit up as we go. So there's no, there's like, no way that possum's here for a reason. It was like a fucking Simpsons joke. I'm like, I'm walking in there and they're like, we're feed, they're feeding a possum that went into the walls. And I'm like, wow. And I was like, this is hilarious. <laughs> I, we had a possum, and then I remember reading about Zoe Deschanel having her entire, all the sound stages steam cleaned for, uh, like, for one for ghosts, no joke, and, the and for, for jokes, like, uh, for her sinuses. And I was just like, they can afford to steam clean sound stages, and we have a live possum. Well, then we've. Mm-hmm. Her it's hard to get that new girl stink like out of a set. <laughs> we like we ghosts. Did, yeah, that's true. We did like ghosts. <laughs> We did welcomed like ghosts on our set. We did. So in your we face, did. girl. <laughs> we do, she she, she left again. Too. She just, like, where are you? Allie. She wanted to leave on that one. She Netflix. On that one. Uh, Bojack Horseman. Bojack Horseman. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Angry Groot. Like, oh, great animated show like Bojack Horseman. <laughs> Hey, Allie, Allie, there's an Al, there's another great thing on Netflix. It's a movie called Always a Bridesmaid. It's streaming right now on oh, Netflix. Oh, okay. Have a copy. Oh, there you go. Do you have a poster of it or a I picture of it at all? I have a picture just happened to have I, a picture of it right oh, here. That's Who right. She, oh, she wrote oh. and produced that. That's streaming on Netflix, guys. Cup of many faces. And I congrats. Congrats on that. Oh, my God. I, I wrote it and the really? second produced it. She I did. It. You didn't know yeah. that? Holy shit. I didn't know that. It's on Netflix, Donald. You should watch it. All right. I'll watch it tonight. Thank you, baby. Yeah, you wrote and produced that. You have, like, two shows on Disney Plus, and they're just... Did someone say Disney Plus? What? Don't let... Allison's going to leave if we say Disney Plus. I don't want to take Allison's I don't want to cause a rift. I don't want to cause a Disney Plus <laughs> Netflix oh, rip. Great. Oh, Look what you did. Allison, Allison, Look what come you on. did. Come back. Allison is not Allison. Allison. You have to Allison. lure her right, back. Donald has to go, guys. <laughs> Netflix. 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 No, I love Netflix. you. I, I love you guys. Bye, I love you guys. Yeah. All right. Donald, We're good. get on the uh, group chat. All right. Donald, Donald, you Donald, better start. add me to the fucking group start chat. Start a group chat. chat. <laughs> yes, yes. Tonight. Yes, ready. You're gonna want to get off it pretty fast. <laughs> I know, I know. You will. You want to meet. Ted is lightning fast in his <laughs> ha ha ha. Ha ha. All right. All right, guys. Good night, guys. Right. Love you all. I love you guys. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. Bye. I'm the one you guys. Oh no, I'll let Allison oh, You want to stay? It'll just be two guys. Me now. Yeah. Alex, um, bye, bye, guys. I gotta go. I love bye. you. Bye, bye you guys. So much. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, okay, did they? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, I'm still here, Dan. I heard it. I'm still oh, here. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. no. Now so, I'm gone. Guys, the pressures of being talented. What's up? Bye, I got to get back to West Elm and get, I got to stock these shelves. <laughs> yeah. But they're fully. Ah, uh, fuck. High road it. Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> I got to oh. pee. That's yeah, I do too. I leave of all. I should just oh. go. I I got to that was lovely, guys. That was anybody, lovely. Sorry, guys. If anybody has any issues uploading or whatever, Caddy's number yeah. is in the um, the documents okay. that you got. But it is important okay. if you can to upload it tonight because we need to have an edit turned around pretty quickly. 
Okay. Oh, okay. oh I bet yeah. you do. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you mock the studio a, like that? Oh, Andy, <laughs> we need to edit it. Why, it would you come... mock the, why would you mock the studio just for messaging oh, that? We, this Dude, has to get why? out in a week and a half. I don't know how well, you're why, why would you? Why would you? I don't know. Do I can't you... stop. Oh, I'm you're sorry. Like, oh, there's <laughs> why nothing we need to get out of this, though. There's so much other work we have to... Not, Wait, nothing else should be added out of this, though. I mean, it's pretty perfect as it is. There's no editing. So then you don't oh, need shit. it tonight if there's going to be no editing. Okay. Warning wow. shot. No, she's giving you a warning shot. That's oh. a warning. She's like, yeah. oh, by the way, maybe I won't edit it, asshole. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Every everyone is like, I'm I'm gonna sit down for a four hour and a half experience. <laughs> You know what? You guys are so funny. I think I'll keep the timing you had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. think I'll artificially juice that at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, you all right, gotta guys, take a lovely. pee break and come back, Jim. Thanks. <laughs> I gotta go, man. I mean, uh, thank you guys sincerely. That was thank so you, much Dan. fun. Dan, yeah. thank you, Jim. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank Jim, you. For so real, much. thanks for getting together. Dan, really, really thank, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you, Dan. Dan. One of the honor, best things that's ever happened in my life. I'll see you guys soon. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Thank you. All, All right, Jets. Ken, I'll get your producer the yeah. stuff this afternoon, too, this evening. Yeah. No, Ken yeah. and I are going to talk for another hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Jim's going to chime in about uh, Kalicha and Rendezvous and Yeah, I got to get in on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've, been, you've been reading up, you've been boning up on all the, like, all uh, the products. And I've, all the... I've been swigging bleach. Yeah, yeah that's smart. That, wow, that's smart and very informed. What? Mm -hmm. What's your opinion? Well, what do you think about? I'm putting the Lumify in my eyes and the bleach down my throat. Mm. Jim, uh, thank you for real. And I know that yeah, the, the baby gap is closing soon, so you need to, re <laughs> and you need to return that shirt. Please. So, uh, wow, uh, offensive. Yeah, you're the, you're the this only is person no, that wears. <laughs> this is no. Uh, is that was that one of those painted on things like, uh, like look who's talking you know it's it doesn't make <laughs> like any the sense. fact that this looks baggy compared to yours I don't yeah know why today I'm but not normally i look <laughs> I at when i watch talking about when i watch <laughs> episodes and they put you in a sweater what are you doing like, Joel? what are you doing boo. 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 <laughs> oh yeah my sweaters were yes, my god my, your sweaters were insane i mean yeah. i've been watching the fifth and sixth season and yeah. i'm like my god look. that sweater a i want it but right, B, right. I'm like, my God, Joel. Yeah. I, I, uh, it really showed my true narcissism coming out. No. Uh, and then I would come in with the god awful. The, <laughs> the team no, stuff. no, no. The two shirts they let you wear. Oh my God. That color of yellow was incredible. I found literally two episodes where I'm not offended by how I look when I wasn't in costume. Costume I always was okay right, with, right. but looking at the Dean. And I remember one was a space bus. Uh, Right. There was a shirt that got retired, and I was like, what happened to that shirt? Because it was like, the color looked fine on me. It wasn't a great shirt, but it, it, in it the was. category of shitty to uh, presentable shitty, it was close to presentable shitty. And then I remember the last, the last episode of- Wait, hold on, I just like that they law, are you continuing? Because like, they got rid of the shirt that you loved. That great shirt was gone. I was like, why did I never, because I never wore it again. Only on know. community, they'd be like, oh, the shirt you loved? Yeah, sorry. No. He looked, we he had looked, to get, we had to, we donated it. He looked presentable shitty in this. That's not good. We That's need, we need, never I want mustard, ugly, shitty gym. <laughs> this is faded yellow. It's yeah. faded yellow. Faded it's a yellow. Real color. I want. We don't know if it's his skin or his shirt. Ugly. Uh, it's jaundice yellow. Oh, John, no, what yeah. we, but what were, I, I interrupted your. Board. No, I was going to say like I just remember uh, the one thing was when we were shooting our very last episode and we were all in that bar. You know, we were pretty much going to be in those outfits, save for the flashes to uh, our pitches. Uh, I said, can I please just wear, like they gave me at least a nice blue shirt. It right. still was too big for me. But I was like, when I was watching, I was like, finally, I look not horrible. It took six years. Six years. And no, it was being... a gift to me. I said, can I not look ugly in the very last, what was the very oh, last episode? And the show episode? had been already canceled. Pick right. Yeah. Right. And then yeah. we destroyed a streaming service and that... <laughs> To, and, and that's when they're like, all right, just let him wear something. To just let him wear something. You know, I watched the, that. I watched five and six, but watching the end of that and watching the pitching the seasons, which was such a hilariously brilliant idea that we all were yeah. in our versions of it, you know, and then the psychological story we're telling about Jeff yeah. dealing with that idea of not wanting to pitch it or understand it. 
I realized how deep that was. And I, and just the, I, the, I thought we were going to be asked, you know, what's your favorite Dean costume? And I was like, Oh, I've always seen the same thing. And so I finally had an appreciation for the one thing, the last outfit I ever wore was in, I think, save for a diaper, was Britta's, Britta's version of what the Dean would be now transgender, you know, uh, uh, and, and said her line of me was like, I'm transgender, not all that other stuff, which of course, like the Dean gets offended, all that other stuff. But I came in and remember, it's not in the episode, but I couldn't, I was making yes. myself break. Because every time I would come in with, and she was really sassy and really like on point and powerful and serious about herself. And then she just goes, and you better believe. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if it was in the script, but for some reason that made me laugh. And then I just wanted to hit it as hard as possible. And you. <laughs> Better believe. <laughs> Gilly, it, we would quote that. It is not in. The, it is not in there. It ends before we get to that. But oh my god! So I had an appreciation for that outfit. It was just a, a power suit and a great wig, and they did beautiful makeup on me. See, took six years. Took six, six years, years to get what you wanted. Six years. To look it is. It is funny when people because you would put on an outfit and they'd see like abs and and, and you must have been slightly like oh. That what a like compliment, but also insulting that you know, like every they're like, oh look at Jim, he's in shape. Yeah, <laughs> so, wow. I, I, look at you, you've got st you work out, and you're okay. like, you've known him for years. I was really worried about you, but now okay, 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 <laughs> yeah. We take you for granted in your we outfits. We assume that you're just. We, uh, we assume that you're just sort of like, well, you know, you get up and you go, this is the best I can do. <laughs> It was never explained why you dress that way. Why would you dress like the principal from Back to the Future? I always just rational. I just rationalized that I spent so much money that the dean spent so much money on costumes and those yeah. things that he loved that he did not give a shit. And he thought, in my mind, this has to, this is professional, and I shouldn't look like I have money. Which is, I think, you know, like the idea, like that's the right person to be. I actually thought you that was like your Clark Kent. I actually would think that sometimes uh -huh. like that that would justify that's that's the dean. Yeah, Clark Kent. it was just yeah. like I just think he thought I shouldn't. I want to be you know a level of everyone's just going to be approachable. <laughs> <laughs> he's got two pairs of pants. He's so approachable. You should do it. I think my favorite thing you've done so far on this set is your is your stand. I just feel like we need more Jim Rash stand up. We just need oh my god and that need more and I apples. Did we see it all, uh, Ken or Jim, on the drug play episode where you decided to warm up mm -hmm. the seventh I they, graders. They, I think they cut a lot of it in the final cut. They I think cut the, it. The, yeah, but they did. The, they did shoot it for the show because they also used the sound. I think of me out there covering while you guys right. were in the back doing right. the scene. So right. that's how we shot it. They said just go out there and and, and there. I did the lines of whatever it was like. Can I get up? And they did the bald city jokes. Like, right. Can I get up. Where do I work? Bald city. You know, mayor of Bald City. Mayor of Bald City. Mayor of Bald City. Bald again. Bald again. And I That's remember, right. but mm. I remember I'd never seen anything like it where they're like, I think, I don't know who the director, I don't know if it was the director or Dan, just like, just go up and do like an improvise, just improvise, like do freeze tag by yourself. And if I, I wish it existed, maybe it made it into a DVD extra. It did, no, it's no, part it's, of it's, the DVD extra. It's, it's, like, it's a full minute of I work of at a gym. cleaners. I hope yes. my, my oh, dreams don't I'm, go up in flames. Yeah. And then yeah. I start ah. laughing. And of course I start laughing. You, you can get, you use start, it. I know, yeah. I've I'm seen it so many like, oh, oh, my dreams were in there. Yeah. And then and you go and you go and then even you, even not you even, got out of your car you go click click and then you would start co walking up and thing. I went upstairs for a long time but I would argue if you really look at it I mean look let's let's like okay Jim Rash Dean there right, that's the right. difference but but when I watch it I go oh Jim that's so you doing improv like <laughs> like if I, if I went back and did it again my note would have been Dean it up some like oh, you know oh yeah that's a, a good little guess. bit because I it was very me. I just love that you still have notes for yourself. I do always. I oh, do yeah. watch the I do watch the episode and not give notes myself. Going like, one I appreciate more not my performance, but I'm just talking about like appreciate things I missed from all of you. Yeah, performance wise or just moment wise. Uh, also, I appreciate just like uh, we had talked about ass crack 
remembering that it was actually mentioned before. So I would see all these moments where they were starting to tease Troy and Britta falling for each other from space bus, they fall into each other to obviously chaos theory, you know, much more. Yeah. It's just nice to see it thread through little moments that we probably take for granted. Cause we're just like this week, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, it puts me right. I mean, I, I wasn't joking when I will be, I watch it and I'll just start crying and while la and then I'll pretend to like morph it into a laugh. So, Eddie and Isaac don't go like, what is wrong? What, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, it's fine. It was just a good time back then. And I swear <laughs> I'm enjoying our life together. I love it. No. I love it. I, I love, love you it. too. And yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that last day of filming was a man. I just crying all week. It was, it was, it was insane. But I think even, uh, you yeah, know, even watching it, watching the very, that last episode in the study room, the big group hug. Yeah. And, you know, plenty of group hugs along the way, even watching, you know, Troy's goodbye, you know, watching that Donald's really, last episode. Yeah. That's so but you, watch. you watching for the fans and you realize and like they were asking us about going to Comic-Con and stuff. And yes, they're reacting uh, to the show, the characters, us, but you know, the characters that live for them. But I think when I watch that, that episode, I get emotional, but it's because you see us, you know, you see I'm hugging Joel and Ken and Allison, you know, and Gillian all at this moment. And, and we're, and it hits you in a weird way because it, it you know, you're, you're saying goodbye at that moment to yeah. this experience or at least this physical part of it. It's what Gillian said where, you know, well, she never felt like she was part of a group and this became, uh, yeah, family and I that's I couldn't believe it was over <laughs> yeah yeah it was uh, yeah and just to yeah it just and oh my god it just can just the chain going I'm gay <laughs> no I'm really gay I'm so gay great. so great not well, and that's why and not I'll, a bit I that's why <laughs> That's why it was like, and then, this is what Dan did so well all over and over and over with the writing where he would let this thing out and go, oh no, now we have a hold of your heart. Now we have your heart, we got it right here. And then yeah. like there would be something, yeah. anybody could do it, but then you're like, oh yeah, no, no. See, it's a, it's, we're, it's a comedy and you didn't even realize what just happened, but now you're crying and laughing. And I think there's so many shows I'm not going to name all of them, but I will. But they're like, they'll try to, they, they're not, those moments don't ever, they don't, they're not earned the same way that mm -hmm. Dan was able to like take this buffer, like this, it was like a bomb being, that you didn't even know was there and it goes off of emotion. And then you're like, oh yeah, no, no, that all happened. But now it's funny again, like, because like, you, you walk out with Chang screaming that. And yeah. It uh, just that's why I'm like I don't know if I'll ever be able to be on something or or watch or watch the tag yeah. after that a family playing. Oh my god! I didn't even think about that. You're that right. starts questioning their existence. Wayne, it's Wayne Fetterman. Yes, brilliant, brilliant and they're going, we don't yeah. exist. None of this map. I mean, like it yeah. literally he is goes, like he goes, you, you stupid child. Don't you see? We don't exist. <laughs> yeah, I. It does make me very happy. I mean, it is surreal sometimes. We're like, yeah, let's kids, let's watch the show I'm on. Uh, but uh, but when you but the kids love it, and I like Ken, like you're and you go like, oh right, this is some heady, cool stuff no. flying at them. It is not yeah. uh it is not basic in any way, and it is uh it just makes me so happy. Now yeah. I'm just complimenting the show that I, I know, but that's what that's it's, this is what this thing was for. And then complimenting you, Jim, you like you did a great job directing this because you directed the table read. I thought you did fantastic. Oh, thank you. Covering everybody and and like <laughs> really, 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 it was a big ship to steer. I oh, really, I think, I think Pedro. Oh my God, I'm, 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 I'm kind, kind of Pedro. Oh I'm my God, <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with Pedro now. Uh, yeah, right, right. right. I, I'm now just gonna like become best friends with Gillian so I can become best friends with He's, Pedro. Yeah, he's not talented. Or, <laughs> no, good luck. Not at all. Not at all. He's not but, been in anything that's done well. 
No. But to hear Harmon yeah. riffing Mandalorian riffs and puns also <laughs> just was funny. It was the, that was the closest thing to Letterman I'd seen in a while. He was like throwing out jokes like, yeah, no, I'm I, not was, I got another one coming up. Yeah, he, and then I think he would say, man. <laughs> like, I think even Pedro said, man. And then Harmon's a DeLorean. <laughs> like, <that's> just, <laughs> <laughs> just start, oh, my goodness. It's just, uh. You just forget, like, I mean, just how, I mean, just lightning quick Harmon is. And it was a... Mm-hmm. Uh, it was really, yeah, it was, it was great. It was just great from, from top to bottom, but thank you and, and Kevin for initiating this from the get go. Yes. You and, and we need and to get Kevin. send Kevin and all the producers that I can yeah. still see that are on. Still, this oh my God. You're still listening right to us. They're still listening. And, and uh, uh, I if Kevin Kelly is still listening, guys, this guy <laughs> is a piece of work. Whoa. I've been, I've been friends with him Whoa. now for, I mean, I don't even want to say the number of years. Cause it just reminds me of how long it has been now. My law. Lo- why would you do, why would you throw him under the bus right now? No, I, I can't imagine he's still listening or <laughs> he'll see this i mean his well why wouldn't he it's being recorded jim but go ahead well you know what he needs to hear this i think for me (laughs) kevin my biggest issues with you (laughs) just what if i just go having it out for the rest of the podcast jim is just going this rant no to get a text rant about kevin kelly oh my god do you think you do a table read with them do i mean like I, I don't know. I'm in quarantine. In quarantine? Why are you asking me? I'm in quarantine. I don't I'm in, know. I'm in quarantine. I'm working on my stand-up act. <laughs> God, here's, here's the deal. I mean, am I right? We're in our own places. Like, uh, hey, knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Bored. You know, like great material like that. You know, like knock, knock. Who's there? Quarter. Quarter whom? Quarterine. I'm working shopping that oh one. Was that supposed to be quarantine? Yeah, it didn't it really. Came out but, but, but you said but you, you bought it back. You said I'm working on. I'm working on chopping that one. No, any any great comedian, you know this, can sometimes yeah. they flop and you go I'm, and I work in shopping them. Work in shopping them. Work in sh- working in shopping them. I'm working in shopping them. I t- like knock I knock like- knock. Oh, this one's got a great price. Like work it and shop it. <laughs> But I think the only thing missing is your other stand-up voice from the last podcast. What's the big deal, Gala Apple? Guys, <laughs> yeah, that, that's guys, the, the <laughs> Guys, here's the deal. I mean, I don't, I know. Hey, it's a bruise on a banana. I don't want to make banana bread. I want a fresh one. <laughs> Am I right? Stop telling me they're better with bruises. I don't agree. <laughs> God, and don't get me started on Honeycrisp. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shit. What? Oh, boy. What, what are you mind. referencing? Honeycrisp apples. Know? As soon as he says Honeycrisp, he thinks he's going to get like a big reaction. Like, like oh, shit. Oh, he's going there right now. He's going there. You I didn't sounded know like the bear, the, 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 the sugar. Yeah, hun- I the, did. Honeycrisp. Yeah, the Honeycrisp sugar. It's not big. No, no, no. <laughs> Honey crisp, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would watch that. I would absolutely watch it. I would t- I'm going to contact Netflix as a joke right now. That, yeah, that needs an hour. That needs like, an hour right like, there in that dude, voice. I, God, I would, I would give me at least 92 minutes. <laughs> 92. <laughs> That's more than an hour. That's Netflix a tight would be, 92. Netflix would be upset with you tight? because hey, you can only, you should only a tight do tight 92. Hi, folks. I got a, ni- ni- a 92. I hit eat things. It, Dave I hit, Chappelle. Eat it. You I hit to- controversial stuff like bruises on bananas, <laughs> gala apples. Honey crisp uh, cereal. cereal, quarantine, topical. Damn. You just dropped the mic by the bringing mic. your lips into your. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even talking anymore. And then you're um, just rubbing elbow. You're like literally all the great comics are coming up. To oh my advice, god! Like Chappelle, Bill Burr, uh, you know, Anna yeah, Gatsby. They're all, Anna, yeah, they're all coming up to you for advice. All of them are coming up to me and going like, "Man, how do you do it?" Tim Allen. Uh, Paula Poundstone, uh, Howie Mandel, uh, uh, um, uh, the Watermelon Crusher. Um, Gallagher. 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 Gallagher, thank you. I couldn't remember Gallagher. And they're just like, can we buy your jokes? I'm like, they're not for sale. And they go, we get it, because only you can deliver them. Wow, do they say it in a yelling way? Like, uh, yeah, only we oh, get it. Because I'm running from them. Because like, it's quarantine. Like, quarantine. Joel, Joel, just give me any topic. Just watch this. 
Okay. Uh, Give me an object, anything. A uh, bookshelf. A bo- oh my God. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. What's up with what's up with bookshelves? Am I right? I mean, it's like, yeah, I can put stuff on you, but if you're empty, you're like, uh, what is this? It's like, um, you know, it's it's nothing. And then like, you know, hey, bookshelf. If I move a book, you better secret door open shit. If you don't, you're a piece of shit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going blue with this bookshelf stuff. <laughs> Are you apologizing? Wait, do you, you actually apologize when you start going blue? I feel like Why when I go, apologize? because I don't think people are like, oh, yeah. don't go blue. That's, bookshelves don't deserve Ew, that. No, guys, I'm sorry. I I'm have sorry. To. I'm sorry. I'm going to go Shit. blue here. <laughs> fuck them. I got to go blue with this. Fuck bookcases, man. Just fuck them. <laughs> we got to fuck these bookcases, man. I mean, I'm so tired of, like, Ikea, West Elm. CB2, all the greats are saying, look at our bookshelves. You know what a bookshelf is? It's, They're it's all a- saying it? <laughs> They're all saying that. They're all saying it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, like I got a Lenny Bruce of furniture comics. God. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, book, bookshelves ain't chairs. <laughs> you know, like a bookshelf looks at a chair and goes, Fuck me. It does? I'll be here all week. <laughs> oh, I guess that was the end of the set. But I think yeah. you are like of that. You're like that show, but you're like the marvelous Mr. <laughs> Maisel. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, you're like the, yeah. you're the husband yeah. of that yeah. show. Mm-hmm. That like, I got to watch that. <laughs> I'm walking through New York. Am I right? Whoa. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Why do you say it like you're just almost completely out of breath? And who are you looking <laughs> at? <You're> like, hey. <laughs> Oh my God! I don't want to uh, my jokes. All right. Uh, okay. okay, we should probably stand because because let's just leave, and leave this on the podcast. We have only go. Go ahead. Ten one guys. That's actor term for piss. I gotta piss. <laughs> I had to piss since the moment he said cold open. I did too, and I went twice because oh, I'm an old man. Oh my God! <laughs> I, I finished this off and coffee. It's yeah. pressure. <laughs> All right. Ken, okay. my wife's going to kill me. Yeah, that was great. For, oh, uh, Jim, Love Jim, thank you. Joe, thank we're you. Good. Jim Rash, ladies and gentlemen. Thank and you, Jim Rash. Still, sorry, Sony, for that we're still here. Yeah, Sony, yep. here you go. Here, I'll send my MP4 when it downloads in two hours. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. I'm not, uh, Ken, you stay. Well, Jim, you go. I got to go. We have to okay. sign off. Okay. Uh, and sign yep. off. I don't need to. Yeah. No, okay. this has uh, been a bonus episode. And this has been amazing. Just right after the table read. That was uh, just happened. I don't even, maybe we should just not do the podcast anymore because I just don't know how we can top that. No. Nope. I really don't. I don't know where Let's to stop. go. Let's I really don't know. Where, yeah. I don't Let's know stop. where to go after this. So I have know. a lot of ideas, but I, I got, <laughs> you don't want to hear them. I get it. Can you, you were. Go. You were really, go. really funny on Community, but you were, really, you were not really great funny. during table reads. But no. uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> uh, this was great. Thank you, Sony, Thank you. and anybody who's listening. Yep. And, um, Thank you, guys. Maybe they pat, just, just gone to bed. Or yeah, I think everyone's asleep right now. Yeah.